Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is validation of sterilization processes and sterile barrier systems. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. Make sure you subscribe to get all the good content. Check out the status bar below for our agenda, and make sure you stick around to the end for those three bonus questions. Our requirement, validation of sterilization processes and sterile barrier systems, comes directly from 1345 section 7.5.7. .7. There is no direct corresponding section in 820. However, this, these requirements are captured by 820.70, 820.75, and 820.130. Validation of sterilization processes and sterile barrier systems in five words. Ensure sterile devices are sterile. We have to establish and implement procedures for ensuring that our sterilization processes and our sterile barrier systems are validated before the product is released. This includes revalidation if any changes are made, this also includes revalidation of those processes according to any applicable regulatory requirements. Normally, sterilization processes are revalidated or confirmed annually. This section of ISO also has a link to another ISO standard, 11607, which captures requirements for packaging testing and packaging validation. Basically, this section applies to any sterile medical device. We have to validate the packaging design, the packaging processes, and the sterilization processes. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, my sterilization processes, my packaging design, and my packaging processes, they are all validated before product is released to the market. Second, if I'm making changes, I do my revalidation before those changes are implemented. Third, any suppliers that I use for validation, for packaging materials, or for packaging processes, they are all qualified, and any processes that they use, those processes are also validated. And then finally, I maintain the validated state of those processes by doing annual revalidation according to established timelines. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, any of those processes, whether it's the sterilization process, the packaging design, or the packaging process, they're not validated before product is released to the market. Second, I'm making changes and I'm not doing appropriate change control, and I'm not revalidating the processes before those changes are implemented. Third, any suppliers that I use, they're not qualified, and they're not on my approved supplier list. And then finally, I'm not doing the revalidation according to my established timeframes. Most commonly, this is the annual revalidations they're done, but the reports are not approved and signed off by all approvers, which can be particularly challenging in larger organizations. And now for those three bonus questions. Do we manufacture and sell any sterile medical devices? What sterilization processes do we use? When was the last sterilization revalidation for X product or X process? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder for Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.